I'm gonna kind of jump straight to it. The reason I'm here is a uh, a little birdie told me that uh, you guys, you know, you guys got approached um, the other day, and uh, quite frankly, you know, it kind of it kind of pissed me off, kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Um, we we don't have to really go into details. I'm pretty sure I know exactly what happened, and uh, you know, I'm here to. Uh, well, let me just say this: I think the people that turned up here and did what they did are kind of they don't really have much going on up there, because let's be honest, no one knows who the fuck you're voting for except from you know, you. No one can. Mm, no one. That's what this is about. Yes. Now. Interesting. Those those people turned up, you know, trying to press, chose, you know, to be violent. I'm showing up, you know, to let you guys know that there is another way. Um, I'm willing to hear you guys out, to hear what your guys' needs are, and, and, and basically to, to find out what you guys want. And uh, I can see if I can, guys, I can get you guys what you want. Um, because... You know, you, you don't need to be afraid of these people because, quite frankly, they're not going to know who the fuck you voted for. Look, I'll be frank with you. Um, I think had any of us three been around in that situation, that situation would have went differently, to be completely honest. Mm -hmm. I see. That's true. I'm not one to uh, do a favor for someone that just shot at me. Uh, I'm quite the opposite. However, sometimes some of my members... You know, they, how, how do I say this best? You know, they don't want to be the reason why something started. So they kind of back down. I'm the opposite. You know, I, I'm willing to be the consequences for someone else. Even if that means things don't always work out for me. Um, I do what needs to be done. In other words, and, to set it straight, you're not a pussy. Yeah, exactly. 100%. I don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. So I see. Um, you, you guys went around. That's, and precisely. I see. Okay. So internally, you know, we're going to deal with that issue on our own. However, you know, I assume that you're here from what people would consider hmm, big corpo, so to say. Yeah. And that might sound bad when I say it like that, but I also want you to know, I actually said this to my friend Arthuro to your right right there earlier today after I spoke to Eve. You know... I consider Eve to actually be the, my last friend in the entire city. You know, Sheesh. club people apart, of course. So I'm more than welcome to hearing you out and like the idea of you actually coming up here and speaking to us. You know, a lot of times when people run for mayor, they don't really think about the North. Even though we have, I mean, we have around 40 people, you know, including hangarounds and, and, and things like that. Um... And then, of course, the other portions of the North as well. I mean, overall, I would say, you know, the North is growing in general. So in regards to what we want, you know, I could think of a couple things, but I'm not sure if they would be necessarily what the club would determine as best. However, I'll just throw some things out here to kind of, you know, get your wheels turning and see see where I'm coming from, I guess. Okay. That's okay with you. Yeah, like I said, like there's... There's no guarantees here yet. I'd have to go away and yeah, of course. see what I can do and get back to you. Um, but I, I do want to, I do want to say this, you know, um, this kind of stays, uh, this, this stays in this room, you know, what, what we're talking about. Yeah. I'm not one to kiss and tell. Okay. Then I, I'd like to hear, you know, beyond my club, obviously. Sure. You know, they, but they, they, they would know. They they don't need to know the the finer details. I mean, I just I just heard what I heard, and I, I don't like you know. Yeah, I wasn't a fan either. But that's a you know that's something else we'll address. But that's like time. that's the Simone way, you know that they, they, yeah. But let let's hear it. Yeah. So you know the first thing I thought of when you said that, and I'm a I'm a very transparent guy, so I don't have a problem saying it. Um, we had a club member that uh, he was a member a very long time ago and, you know, is no longer in the city, actually flew back home. And it's been probably about 
six plus months. And um, he used to own the hardware store up here, which is actually available for purchase. But obviously you need to, you know, clear some things with the mayoral office and talk to the right people in, in, in the factory and, and, and so on, um, you know, to get that kind of thing sorted. And so honestly, that's the first thing I think of. I'd like to reopen that hardware store within the club, just like it used to be. I see. Are you a hardware store? Is that is isn't that like the uh, you know, the guy where the uh, what's his name, Willie? That that hardware store? No, no. So actually, right across from Willie's, we could we could walk over there and show you afterwards. Okay. There's the hardware store right next to the clothing store, and it's a storefront, and it's just been shut down because, like I said, this other member, uh, you know, he flew out of town, hasn't been around for six months, and so it you know, defaulted and got reclaimed. And it's actually available for purchase, but obviously you need to clear things with the factory, et cetera, to be able to achieve that. Right, yeah. And, okay. That, yeah, and that's, you know, that's the first thing I can think of. That's something we're missing up here ever since, uh, you know, he parted ways and, and went back home. That's simple enough. I have I have contacts for that, absolutely. Yeah, look, I'm not going to, uh, you know, ask for the world here. I'm fully aware of what's reasonable, what's plausible. And uh, quite frankly, I also understand that, you know, this isn't a promise being made, right? We're just having a discussion. Sure. I mean, it, I don't, I don't want to come up here promising this and that. I, I'd rather like, I'd rather go away and just confirm that it can be done than kind of come get back to you. Cause mm-hmm. yeah, for sure. It's just not, sense. it's not a good look, you know, oh, but it, honestly, me, this, is, this sounds pretty easy. I, really easy. Yeah. I mean, like I said, right. I know I'm not asking for the world and, for you guys, like I said, right, for Big Corpo opening a business, I mean, that's just, that's every day, right? Yeah. Anything so what are you else asking or... for from us? Uh, I mean, I might be able to think of something, you know. Um, might be worth discussing with the club. We have a meeting uh, this weekend. However, um, that's what initially comes to my mind. I mean, there's another store that probably will be staying closed down. But besides that, um, I don't know, Arthur, what do you think? I mean, I'd like to get another high commend member well, here to weigh in. I'm more of a non-materialistic person. Um, what I would put down, Harry, well, um, I'd say let's keep a communication line open. Um, not necessarily mayor re- related, right? Um, I mean, we don't really engage too much. Uh, us up north with the city. Uh, I think we need more of that. Um, and I feel like maintaining a communication line for literally anything is a good start. Um, we don't really say no, uh, you know, to that kind of stuff. Also, um, uh, we would like to prepare something for you guys uh, as an apology, uh, like a small basket with fruits and stuff. Uh, maybe some local cuisine from Mojito Inn, um, uh, and bring that to you as well. Uh, for all that bullshit that happened the other day. But yeah, I mean, other than that, um, nothing really. We got this clubhouse. Uh, hey, what I'm happened the other day? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, what are you talking about? What What is that? I haven't heard of this. An apology? I think but... you're mix. I think you're mixing up the parties here. He's talking oh. about Seaside coming up, and he's not part of Seaside. He's, oh, he's the okay. other end of the political spectrum. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah, I think, yeah, sorry yeah. about that. He's, he's just a bit mixed up. That's okay. Yeah, yeah, I mixed those up. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, uh, quite frankly, uh, so, I mean, I, 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 how how this is, how the what happened, pal, is that the Simone brothers sent, uh, you know, Seaside and uh, I think Dundee up here to try and press to for you guys to vote one way, and they, they're using violence and, and pressure. I'm here, you know. Yeah, no, no, no. We don't operate like that, so, yeah, I mean. I, I like the idea of the, the communication. I, I can leave my mm-hmm. number. I kind of I have those connections, and, uh, I mean, the we're kind of not, we're not going anywhere. So, yeah, I think we should start that yep. kind of, that that line of communication. If you guys need anything, you, you can you can definitely reach out. Uh, I, I've kind of, I've, I was gone for a while. You see, I wasn't really in town. I'm kind of back now, so. Yeah. Welcome back to town. 
Yep. And uh, obviously this, uh, think of this as like, a, you know, a charitable donation. Think of this like, um, I don't know, just uh, just making the world a better place, so to say. Listen, between you and me, Harry, if I if I had to choose between um, Cerberus and anything else, I'm sorry, but I'd go Cerberus any day. Um, and that's primarily thanks to Eve. Um, oh my God, she's been a pillar. Can't kill uh, Eve. Nope. For the past, I don't know how long, as long as I can remember, really. I got to write uh, this down. Been around for almost two years, so. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you. If it wasn't for Eve, uh, we wouldn't have uh, a lot of the luxuries that we're enjoying, and that's thanks to Eve and Cerberus at the same time. So, um, yeah, there's there's nothing more that I would ask for, to be honest with you. I mean, Eve is like a pillar of the community up north. You know, she uh, yeah, she's been up here for a long time. You know, I used to be up here with her, but I kind of, I kind of, I got too busy down the sea. But she's always been up here, so no, I, yeah, she's she's great. I mean, look back before she even started her, uh, you know, the the weed farm in the in the in the reef up on the mountain. You know, I used to just have her on the back of my bike and just ride around town and just talk. That's why I say she's truly just one of my friends, you know? She's just one of those people you can just talk to. Yeah. And most people you talk to in the city, they either want something from you or trying to sell you something. That's yeah, pretty that's much usually it. how it goes. That's why I say, really, she's one of the only people I can just talk to. Yeah. And um, I understand. I mean, you're standing there. You want something. But we can have the even exchange, right? And for me... I don't really give a shit about those guys that came up here, all right? Straight up. On the other hand, working with you guys, I'd love to do that. So to me, yeah, no problem from my side. Yeah, and on my side, this sounds very easy enough. Definitely can be taken care of, and uh, I just want to confirm it. Can I, uh, can I get, you know, can I get your number? Why don't I take your card? Yeah, sure. And uh, listen, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not stupid. I, I know that you can only say so much. Ultimately, like this is the way it works. People, uh, yeah. people are gonna vote for whoever they want to vote for. You, no one can control that. You know, I, I can't guarantee anything, but for sure, you know, we can try our best. You know, and your people. It sounds like you have a lot of them, and you know, we'll. Uh... Yeah, look, I don't make false deals. All right, Here, here's my number, by the way. Here's my card. If um. You know, if we if we make an agreement, I, I plan on sticking by it. Especially, you know, I'm the president. Uh, our Thor right there is what we call our ambassador. We're both high command members. Uh, we've been around for quite a, quite some time as well. Um, you know, I, like I said before, I wouldn't have been one to fold to those guys coming up here. I don't really give a damn who they are. Anyone coming to my house demanding something after they did something to me. That's just not how that works. Yeah, I respect that a lot. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Quite frankly, like I said, you know that it's just not very, it's not very smart. You know, they they're just <laughs> they're self sabotaging. It's hilarious. But yeah, uh, I mean, the last person who tried that um, was Alex Strawn, and the next day his gas station was blown up. Harry, that's usually how it works. Yeah, crazy how that happened. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh, I, oh, oh! It's like oh, it's like that. Okay, yeah, say less. Yeah, like I, said, I, I respect it. I, I don't think it's it's the way at all. Yep. Um, what can I save you as on, on my phone? I go by Fritz, my first name. Fritz? F-R-I-T-Z. Gotcha. Yep. Um, you already uh, should I have a text from me. Uh, um, I just send you my name now. Gotcha. Sorry, my phone's bloody blowing up. Um, oh, you're fine. Trust me, I understand. Are you guys, uh, you guys around the uh, this storm, like uh, you know, like five hours ago, or around this time? Mm, 
Three kind of depends on the day, honestly. Really? Okay. But yeah, but, but usually around that time, yeah. A little bit later, last storm, start of this storm, you know? So that's basically it. Sorry about that. Picture perfect. But if I know you're going to reach out, you know, I'll, I'll try to... Uh, I try to be around more than usual, regardless. You know, because uh, you know it's uh, it's just kind of how it is at the moment for me. A little bit hit or miss. Yeah, uh, I I want to act on this uh kind of fast, so let me uh let me go start cooking and I'll I'll be in contact. Okay, and I appreciate the time. Yeah, of course.